The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very profound topic. Seven anti-stoic habits that can hinder our journey to a more balanced and fulfilling life. It's essential to recognize these habits so we can work towards a more stoic mindset. Before we begin, if you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. If you're ready, let's dive in. Habit number one, excessive materialism. Excessive materialism is a trap many of us fall into. It's the belief that acquiring more possessions, wealth, and status will bring lasting happiness. We're bombarded with messages that equate success with the accumulation of stuff. But here's the truth. Material possessions, while enjoyable, rarely provide lasting fulfillment. The thrill of a new purchase fades quickly, leaving us searching for the next thing to fill the void. It's like chasing a mirage. Excessive materialism comes at a price, a heavy one. It often leads to financial stress. As we accumulate debt to sustain our consumption, we become slaves to our possessions rather than their masters. In our pursuit of material wealth, we may lose sight of what truly matters relationships, experiences, personal growth, and contributing to the greater good. We sacrifice the depth of life for the breadth of possessions. It's time for a shift in perspective. Instead of chasing material abundance, let's seek true abundance. Abundance in our experiences, in our relationships, and in our hearts. True abundance is about richness of life, not richness of possessions. One way to counter excessive materialism is by cultivating gratitude. Take time to appreciate the simple things. The warmth of the sun on your skin, the laughter of loved ones, or the beauty of a sunset. These moments are priceless. My friends, let's strive for a more balanced relationship with material possessions. Enjoy the things you have, but remember that they don't define your worth or happiness. True fulfillment comes from within and from the experiences and connections that enrich our lives. Habit number two, impulsiveness, is the tendency to act on our desires and urges without careful thought or consideration of the consequences. It can be tempting to give in to immediate gratification, but it often leads to regret. Impulsiveness can come at a cost. Hasty decisions can lead to financial troubles damaged relationships, and missed opportunities. It's like trading long-term happiness for short-term pleasure. The first step in overcoming impulsiveness is self-awareness. Take a moment to pause and reflect on your actions. Ask yourself why you're making a particular decision and whether it aligns with your long-term goals and values. Embracing delayed gratification is a powerful antidote to impulsiveness. Instead of seeking immediate rewards, consider the long-term benefits of your choices. Sometimes, waiting can lead to even greater satisfaction. Mindfulness is your ally in taming impulsiveness. Practice being fully present in the moment, especially when facing a decision. Mindful decision-making allows you to pause, evaluate, and choose responses that align with your values. Finding balance is key. It's not about eliminating all spontaneity, but rather about making conscious choices. Balance allows you to enjoy life's pleasures without sacrificing your long-term well-being. It's a journey toward better decision-making, self-discipline, and ultimately, a more fulfilling life. Habit number three, seeking external validation. It is the habit of relying on others' approval recognition, and praise to feel valued and validated. It's like looking in a mirror that reflects the opinions of others rather than recognizing your own worth. While validation from others can be uplifting, it comes with limitations. Relying solely on external validation can make you vulnerable to the ebb and flow of others' opinions, leaving you feeling insecure and unfulfilled. The journey towards a more fulfilling life begins with cultivating self-worth from within. It's about recognizing your own value 
regardless of external judgments. You are inherently worthy, just as you are. Self-acceptance is your ally in this journey. Embrace your strengths and imperfections alike. Understand that being unique is a gift and you don't need to conform to others' expectations. Comparison often fuels the need for external validation. Remember that everyone's journey is different. Focus on your progress, growth, and personal goals instead of constantly measuring yourself against others. Self-love is the foundation of self-worth. Treat yourself with the same kindness, compassion, and love that you would offer to a dear friend. You deserve it. Let's break free from the cycle of seeking external validation and turn inward to discover our true worth. Habit number four, excessive worry about the future. It is like a cloud that constantly looms overhead. It's the habit of fixating on what might happen, often to the detriment of our peace of mind and happiness in the present. Worrying about the future often stems from a desire for control. We want to predict and plan for every possible outcome. However, life is unpredictable and excessive worry won't change that. Here's the truth. The present moment is a gift and excessive worry robs us of that gift. It's like staring at a beautiful sunset, but being too preoccupied with what's coming next to truly appreciate it. Striking a balance between planning for the future and living in the present is key. While it's wise to set goals and prepare, it's equally important to savor the here and now. Mindfulness is your ally in overcoming excessive worry. It's about being fully present, observing your thoughts without judgment, and redirecting your focus to the present moment. Cultivating gratitude and acceptance can ease worries about the future. Recognize the abundance in your life now and trust in your ability to adapt to whatever comes your way. By doing so, you'll find greater peace, happiness, and resilience in the present. Habit number five, avoiding discomfort. It is a common habit. We often seek the familiar and the easy, staying within the confines of our comfort zone. But what if I told you that real growth and transformation lie beyond those boundaries? Discomfort is not your enemy. It's your opportunity for growth. It's like a gym for your mind and spirit, where you build strength and resilience by facing challenges head on. Often, the discomfort we avoid is rooted in fear, fear of failure, rejection, or the unknown. But remember, fear is a natural part of growth. It's a sign that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and into your potential. Embracing discomfort fosters resilience. It teaches you to bounce back from setbacks, adapt to change, and thrive in the face of adversity. It's your greatest teacher in life's school of resilience. Discomfort is also a path to self-discovery. It reveals your strengths, weaknesses, and hidden talents. When you push your boundaries, you uncover the depths of your potential. Your mindset is your compass in navigating discomfort. Instead of viewing it as a burden, see it as an adventure, a journey of self-improvement and personal evolution. Instead of avoiding it, let's embrace it as a gateway to growth, resilience, and self-discovery. Remember, the magic happens outside your comfort zone. Habit number six, excessive emotional reactivity. Emotions are a natural part of being human, and they can be powerful guides in our lives. However, when emotions take control and lead to excessive reactivity, it can disrupt our peace of mind and relationships. Excessive emotional reactivity often manifests as a knee-jerk reaction to triggers. These triggers can be situations, words, or actions that provoke intense emotional responses. It's like being on an emotional roller coaster. Our emotional reactions can profoundly affect our relationships Reacting impulsively in moments of anger, frustration, or fear can lead to misunderstandings and damage connections with others. The first step in managing emotional reactivity is to pause. Instead of immediately reacting, take a deep breath 
and create a space for conscious response. This pause allows you to regain emotional control. Self-awareness is your ally in managing emotional reactivity. Practice observing your emotions without judgment. Understand their root causes and patterns and gradually gain better control over your responses. Cultivating empathy and compassion, both for yourself and others, can reduce emotional reactivity. Understanding that everyone has their own struggles and challenges can help you respond with greater kindness. By practicing emotional resilience, self-awareness, and empathy, we can create a more harmonious inner world and strengthen our relationships. Habit number seven, blaming others. Blaming others is a common habit that often serves as a defense mechanism. It's the act of shifting responsibility away from ourselves and onto someone else or external circumstances. When we constantly blame others, we slip into a victim mindset. We give away our power to create change and become passive observers of our lives, feeling helpless in the face of challenges. The antidote to blame is taking responsibility. It's about acknowledging that while we can't control everything that happens to us, we can control how we respond and what we do next. Self-reflection is a powerful tool in breaking the blame cycle. Instead of pointing fingers, look inward and ask yourself how you contributed to a situation and what you can learn from it. Accountability is empowering. When we take responsibility for our actions and choices, we regain control over our lives. We become active participants in shaping our destiny. Blame often stems from pain or unresolved emotions. Practice forgiveness, both for yourself and others, as a means of healing. Let go of grudges and free yourself from the weight of blame. My friends, let's break free from the habit of blaming others. Instead, let's choose responsibility, empowerment, and positive change. By doing so, we create a life filled with growth, resilience, and lasting fulfillment. Remember that you have the power to transform blame into growth Thank you for joining us on this motivational journey and being such a wonderful audience. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Let's work towards greater self, awareness, and the pursuit of a more stoic way of living. Until next time, my friends, stay mindful and keep growing towards your best self.